Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of Kitty Blue Unboxing. And if you don't know what that is, well basically I'm just gonna dress up as a cat. I'll have my cat ears and unbox things for you. Today we're going to be opening up a Japan crate. I finally got one. If you don't know what a Japan crate is, it's a box or they call it a crate filled with Japanese candies and sometimes, you know, savory snacks to try out. Um, I got the original. They have mini, original, and premium. The mini one I think is $12 and then the original is $25 and the premium is $30. And, you know, basically each box has more stuff or less. So, yeah. So, um, let's get started. So this is how that looks like and this is the inside. See, I got original. They give you a thing where they call a magazine and it's, it has comics in it and it also tells you um, what's in your package. Like on this page it tells you what you get. Yeah, what you get for both mini, original, and premium. And then they just give me this, which is like just telling me that I should sign up for Country Real. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I got these potato chips, and they are, yeah, potato chips basically. They're lightly salted and crisp to the perfection, to perfection. So, I'm not sure what flavor this is supposed to be, but I'll do the, I'll do the tasting afterwards, after I unbox it. The next thing I got was this Hello Kitty Pocky. Yep, Hello Kitty Pocky. Next thing I got was, I think, a strawberry shortcake candy. That looks cool. Next thing I got, what is this? It's like an orange gummy, and I think it's supposed to be like an orange soda gummy flavor. I got a box of Pocky. Milk chocolate, I think? Yeah. There you go. And then I got... Where are they? I got some gummies. I'm not sure what flavor. Um, we'll try them later. The next thing I got is yam white chocolate. And I've never tasted this before. It seems pretty interesting. So we'll try that. The next thing that I got were like Waldo gum. Is it Waldo gum? Yeah. They say Wal Wally on here, but I, I guess. But it's gum. Uh, it's strawberry flavored gum that has Waldo on it. So I think this is my extra candy. And there's a, there was a situation with the Japan crates for um, January. This January, we were all supposed to get a DIY. But something happened with them during shipment and they got ruined so they couldn't give us them. So they, they sent us all an email saying that they were going to give us things twice as much as the DIY. Like one or two or one or two non-food items like an extra candy or something. So I'm guessing this is my extra candy. And the extra things that I non-food candy were these two pens. Wait, let's get to the taste testing. First thing I'm going to try is these potato chips. They look like regular potato chips. They taste like regular Lay's potato chips. So I'm going to try this next. These are pretty good. When I first bit into it, it's like I got... When I first, when, I, when you bite into it, you get like a little bit of liquid, but it's not really liquidy. It's like a more watery 
gelatin like consistency from the one that you're the outer part of it. So it's like you have the outer jelly and then you have a more thinner jelly in the middle. It tastes pretty good. I can't really describe the taste. Just, it's really good. The next thing I'm gonna try is this strawberry shortcake candy. So they look like this. Like a K on this side. See that? Whoa. That really does taste like a, a cake. It doesn't have, I mean, it has the consistency of like mint if you like chew your mint or whatever. But it really, how do I describe it? It tastes like strawberry milk. So if you want to know what this tastes like, if you drink strawberry Nesquik or strawberry, any strawberry milk, this is what this tastes like. Next, I'm going to try this orange soda candy gummy. It looked like this. It doesn't taste a whole lot like orange. And the um, texture is pretty good. It just tastes it doesn't it doesn't taste as hard as like American gummies. I mean Maybe because whenever gum whenever I eat gummies, they taste kind of hard, but these are pretty soft. So um, here's my chocolate pocky. Tastes good. If you don't know what pocky is, it's basically like a biscuit stick dipped in chocolate, and that's basically what it is. And here's the strawberry one. Pretty good. The strawberry is not a it's not a strong flavor as what I've usually eaten before, but it tastes pretty good. The next thing I'm going to try is these white chocolate yams. So yeah. Ooh. They come individually. Whoa. The wrapper like that. And they look like this. Okay, they taste pretty good. I don't know what yams really taste like because I've never had them before, but I can taste the white chocolate, and I think that is a yam flavor, but it doesn't taste like, I don't know how it really tastes like, so, but it tastes really good. I really like it. Um, at first, the chocolate was kind of hard to bite into, but then, like, when you chew it, it starts to get more soft. So it turns out that I did not get the Pokemon Pineapple Candy. I was looking for it and I don't have it. I never got one. So yeah, I guess the extra candy that I got was like, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't get the Pokemon Pineapple Candy and I was actually looking forward to that one. So yeah, I don't have that one to try. So the next thing I'm going to try is this gum. These smell so strong. Like right when I opened the plastic, I can it, the smell just hit me. So the uh, they look like this, and that's the wrapper. That's a very strong strawberry flavor. I like it. Yeah, it, it tastes more like a organic strawberry flavor. But it does a artificial one, and that's really a you know a refreshing flavor to taste. The last thing I'm gonna try is jelly beans, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, I can't really read the flavors, but I'm gonna try this. So I'm going to try the yellow one. I'm not sure what flavor that is. Oh, they're not. These jelly beans are not really hard. Like I bit into it, and it just like like bounced off my teeth. I don't know how to explain it. Wait, one. I cannot tell what these flavors are. It tastes good, but I have no idea what these flavors are. I've never tasted them before. I don't know. That was my unboxing for today, and I'm disappointed at the extra items that I got. Two pens. Like, it's not even a cute one that I saw a lot of people get. I got, like, these. I mean, yeah, I could put this in my pen collection. But still, like, I don't think this is worth the same amount as DIY. But anyways, thank you for Japan. Thank you Japan Crate for getting giving me a Japan Crate. I really enjoyed it. Other than the fact that I didn't get the Pokemon candy and didn't get a pretty good replacement, but overall I really enjoyed everything that I got. So thank you for giving me a Japan Crate. And I hope I recommend you guys to get Japan Crate. Like at least you try it. This is this is what I this is what I got Japan Crate for. I got it so I could try it out. So I really like it. I recommend to you guys to get it if you, you know, are you up to it. So well, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope to be making more unboxing videos in the future. And I would like you to give me some feedback on my videos so I can improve. Thank you. Bye.